So today I'm talking about a P1101 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a P1101 code? Well, depending on the scan tool that you're using, it could come up with different definitions. The most common one is going to be intake airflow system performance, but it can also come up with math sensors, out of self test range, and some scan tools that come up with the definition as actual measured airflow from MAF, MAP, EGR, and TP is not within range of calculated airflow. And so what does this all mean? Well, basically the onboard computer is having an issue with the air going into the engine and either it can't read it correctly with the sensor or something is blocking the airflow or something along these lines, but there's some kind of issue going on with the air as it goes into the engine. And so what are some possible causes of this? Well, it could be a dirty air filter, could be a dirty throttle body, could be a faulty MAF sensor, could be a faulty MAP sensor, could be in the wiring like an open or short, could possibly be a blown fuse and possibly a vacuum leak. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is go check out the air filter, make sure that looks good and that it's not dirty because a dirty air filter can block the airflow, which can cause issues. So first thing to do, check out the air filter and be sure that's good. And then the next thing to do is to check out the mass airflow sensor called the MAF sensor. And it'll be located at the air intake box. And this is the main sensor that monitors how much air is going into the engines. So you want to check that out and be sure that's good. Check out the wiring, be sure there's no issues there. You could check for any blowing fuses or anything like that. If you have an OBD2 scan tool, a real quick, easy way to test these is that you go to live data or data stream, whatever your OBD2 scan tool has. You put the key in the on position, but you don't start the engine. And then just go to the grams per second on the MAF sensor and just see if it's reading anything crazy high. Because with the engine not running, there should be no air going past that sensor, so it shouldn't be some crazy high number. If it is, then there's some kind of issue going on with that MAF sensor. I made a video on how you go about testing the MAF sensor with an OBD2 scan tool. I'll put a link to that down in the description below if you want to do some more tests on it. The next thing to do is go test that MAF sensor, because if there's anything wrong with the MAF sensor, then it can definitely cause a P1101. The next thing to do is to check out the throttle body, because if the throttle body's dirty, it notoriously can cause this issue especially like with Chevys or things like this. The Chevy Cruze is notorious for this problem. If you took a Chevy Cruze to a mechanic and they saw this air, the first thing they would do is clean up the throttle body. And it's pretty simple to do. You get some throttle body cleaner and you spray some cleaner in there and you clean it up. You can use like a little toothbrush if you wanted to. And you get all the way in there and make sure it's all cleaned up. There's some good YouTube videos on how you clean up the throttle body if you need to watch them. But basically, you just want to get it all cleaned up because a dirty throttle body can definitely cause this issue, especially on particular engines. And then the next thing that you can go and check for is the MAP sensor with the P or called the Manifold Absolute Pressure Switch. And this will be located on the manifold somewhere. And the onboard computer uses this to regulate the airflow indirectly. So the MAF sensor or the mass airflow sensor directly reports to the onboard computer the information while the manifold absolute pressure sensor does it indirectly. So the computer can also use this to see how much air is going into the engine and if it has an issue then it can also cause problems. And so next thing to go and check is the manifold absolute pressure sensor. And a vacuum leak can throw off this manifold absolute pressure sensor. So you'll also want to keep an eye out or look for a vacuum leak. And there's a few ways you can go about looking for a vacuum leak. A very common method and the one I like to use the user a smoke machine you just feed smoke into the intake manifold and wherever the smoke comes out there's a leak there's low-cost smoke machines on amazon or ebay there's even low-cost diy machines that you can make yourself there's some good youtube videos on that there's also other ways you can look for a vacuum leak but the next thing to go and do if you've done everything else out is to look for a vacuum leak since that there's a vacuum leak it can throw off the sensors on how the air is flowing through the engine and so that's basically it i just want to do a quick video on how you go about fixing a p1101 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.